One of the more contentious stories that we tell about the First World War is that of the conscientious objectors. We only tell it very briefly um, because really we don't have a lot of detail on the local guys who were conscientious objectors. But we've got a, a, a death plaque, a memorial plaque that was awarded to a local lad, uh, William Clocus Hardy. He was a, a member of the Plymouth Brethren religious group and they were vehemently anti aggression. So William became a conscious, conscientious objector. Some of these guys wouldn't lift a finger in any way to, to help the war effort. Others would do certain things like join the Royal Army Medical Corps or work on pioneer work, woodcutting in England or somewhere in the British Isles. Um, William himself um, wasn't a, an absolutely staunch conscientious object. He, he did sign up and he, he did get his uniform. He was a member of the non-combatant corps, as it was called, and so they wouldn't lift, lift weapons, but they would do the background work. Um, and sadly, he died of, uh, of a disease in, down in the southwest of England um, in 1917, and he's buried in Bristol. He was never entitled to medals, none of the conscientious objectors were, but he was awarded the death plaque, which we've got. It's quite a, quite a rare object because very few of the conscientious objectors did actually lose their lives in service of the country. So it, it, it brings a, an otherwise ignored aspect of the war to light really uh, and an another sad story.